Hey there guys, this is Basing Earth 313 here with the continuation of the Overwatch. Well, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a continuation rather than a jump cut to Overwatch because as soon as we start entering the game, you'll see that I've been doing a shit ton of work since my last recording session. I've been playing this game non-stop, like literally every day. And it's a really fun game, surprisingly. Look, I haven't even opened up the loot boxes yet. <laughs> I kind of wanted to save um, these loot boxes for you guys to, show, to, to see and see what I get. So um, the first five loot boxes I've opened, those were only from the uh, Let's Play. After that, I have not opened a single loot box up until I went up to level 25. And speaking of level 25, competitive season's open. And that's what we're going to be doing today because I have not actually tried it out. I just recently went to rank 25 and it'll be interesting to just go there and see what we can do. And we'll probably open up all the loot boxes at the end of the Let's Play. So, uh, for now, yeah, let's just have some fun with, um, some competitive mode, and, uh, I don't know, I, I, I would say I've been training a lot, <laughs> at least with the characters that I know how to play. Uh, I noticed there's, like, star icons, so I'm guessing that has to do with some sort of competitive mode or something, the rank battles. Uh, usually what I decide my character is whenever I see all of the other characters, um, in my team. But then again, it's a skirmish mode, so whatever. Let's try out Roadhog, even though I have no idea how to play as him at all. Uh, he'll be an interesting... Actually, no, let's try and play a character that I... Because this is competitive mode, it's probably best if I actually do a character I know how to play. Um, so we have the sniper and two, uh, a melee attacker and a, a offensive player. We don't really have a support character, so... Yeah. I feel like Lucio, out of all characters, is probably, like, my main main character. The character that I probably know how to do the most, uh... I wouldn't say the most damage, but the most, um... Uh, what's the call? The most uh, progress with like I managed to at least do a lot of um healing around my teammates. I, because I'm a fast character as well, I get to like just immediately go to um my allies and yeah. But yeah, um, let's. Uh, this is our first competitive match, and I'm kind of nervous, I to say. But uh, hopefully, we can do really good in this uh, session and. Uh, yeah, good luck to everyone and all the teams, and we are ready to go. Alright, so we got a soldier, junk rat, okay. So, the team tips always um, helps me a lot. Okay, we already have a offensive character, so... Oh, sorry, no, um, we already have a support character with Lucio. Uh, there's not really much offensive capability. Well, I guess aside from those two. I'll be McCree, just to... Uh, I guess diverse everything up. Um, I, I'm not really good with recruit, honestly, but uh, I think I can get some results done. Keyword being think, of course. That doesn't mean I can't actually do it. But considering how we already have a soldier, and I feel like he's like my main character as of in terms of offensive capabilities, but we already have a soldier, and I'm not sure if it's like optimal to have the same characters at once. But uh, I feel like it's a lot more optimal to have different characters rather than like one singular character. On the same team. Otherwise, like it could be e easily be countered. So, hello, hello. uh, hey. My is charging. I said hello. Hey there. Yeah, sometimes the chat, the D-pad on the chat thing is a little bit wonky because for some reason, you have to like wait for like three seconds to in order to activate your thing in Majigger in order to uh, actually chat. But otherwise, you do it immediately. It's gonna like just completely go all random or say your ultimate is charging when in actuality you meant to say uh hey or something uh for some reason that diva was not doing anything <laughs> but uh i guess i was trying to shoot the shield but it didn't really work because it's a fucking shield i'd say like in terms of like shield break it's a lot better to have bastion if anything as annoying as that character is oh my god I'm poisoned. it is a lot more optimal to get him as annoying as he may be uh, there's a turret there, so I could just easily shoot that. So, so there's a, definitely a Cimitura in that team, and there she is. Uh, really, another? Oh crap! Okay, there's another one there too. All right, I guess I'll be disrupting all the turrets. What the hell is she doing? Is she really, literally AFKing? Oh, I guess not. Yeah, stop not. You gotta not do the AFK, especially in competitive match. Otherwise, uh, you're screwed. Like, if you're gonna be in a competitive team battle. Oh shit. I was really flubbing there for a second, I'm sorry. 
Um, but yeah, do not AFK. I feel like that's very obvious, but uh, do not AFK, otherwise... Okay. Uh, she had her, uh, whatchamacallit, her reflector on, so I don't think I could a was able to do that. Alright, I destroyed her mech at least. And her. That was good. We're doing good so far, we're doing really good. Surprisingly. I heard French. Is there a... There's not a... Okay, so she's somewhere here. Using sound cues is definitely the best way to uh, deal with enemies as well, especially if you don't know if you know um who's uh in your team. Okay, that's a close one. Oh, 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 hello. Hey, Mercy. You know it's not a good idea to uh, go up in the wild. Was there? A oh my God, there's a. Oh, that's a close one. All right, thanks, Lucio. We're doing we're doing good teamwork here, guys. So that's good. Huh. I guess in terms of like characters when you're playing on a console, aka controller mode, I really don't like using uh, Tracer at all because like I feel like she might be one of those like twitch, twitchy characters to deal with. And if you manage to play Tracer and console perfectly well, then you're then that's awesome for you, good for you. But um, I honestly can't deal like play Tracer whatsoever on console. It's just really hard for me to do so. Alright. Damn it. Okay, okay, back up way, back way. I got my dead eye ready, so it's almost high noon. Right? No, 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 I'm not gonna jinx it. I should not jinx it. Uh, I'm only gonna do it when there's like a lot of characters around, or at least if I'm really desperate. I wanna kill. Oh, like now, maybe. Oh, there's only one character. Oh, shit. Ooh, okay, yeah, I took way too long to do that, sorry. Hmm. Diva, I feel like, is one of those characters in which I honestly don't know how to counter that much, aside from because of her big size. Like, usually, um, whenever I try to fight her, I usually... Oh, I just shoot her, that's all. There's really no strategy, unless she's, like, tries to, like, um, whatchamacallit. Unless she tries to, uh... Do some funny business, or if there's like a very low damaging character. Ooh, okay. There's a bash in there! Good. Get back here, you asshole. Of course, Bastion has to retreat as well. Shit. That's not good. Okay. At least, well, it doesn't matter. We're almost winning anyway, so that's fine. I stunned him, but I didn't really, um... Oh, there was also an enemy behind me, too. So... Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, oh shit. Oh wait, no, there's one kid. Nope, never mind. It's contested. Or not contested, but... No one's escorting the payload now, even though it's like really, really close to the end. We got four minutes. Hopefully, um... We won't choke at the end. Maybe. Yeah, we won't choke at the end. Good thing I did! <laughs> Alright. That was only round one. Okay, if it was an actual game, then we'd be finished and we already win, but... Three to zero? Really? Wait, what, what? Where's the three come from? Switching sides? What? Uh, okay. Uh, we're defending. We got a Reinhardt. Uh, okay. Oh, well, we're defending. Then wouldn't it be a best option to have either Bastion or Torbjorn? <laughs> as much as those characters are really, really annoying, it kind of makes sense for them to like. I won't lie, though. I I shouldn't. I should not get any jobs from dealing with like a Torbjorn Bastion. Like playing as them, yeah, you're gonna get hate a lot. Trust me. But, like, it's so satisfying. I feel like it's a lot satisfying to, like, deal with a Bastion and Torbjorn because they're so defensively capable and just really annoying to deal with. But, then, yeah, unless you're playing, like, an offensive Torbjorn, then I guess that's fine. Rather than a defensive one where you just focus more on the turret. I feel like as my Torbjorn playstyle, I always go a lot more offensive while I have, like, my turret, like, I guess on the sidelines. Just in case. But, yeah, um... That's how I play Torbjorn, honestly. And I feel like that's the best way to play Torbjorn. Because um, any other way, I feel, would just be campy, in my honest opinion. And I really don't like... As much as camping is kind of like a legitimate... Oh. 
Uh, as much as camping is a legitimate tactic, it's still an annoying tactic to deal with, and it's really like just very boring to see competitively, or as a commentator, or a spectator, sorry. Commentator as well, but like, alright. Okay, so I can also kind of see they have a Reinhardt. Alright, it's only four seconds left, or seven seconds left. So... Uh, do we have a Lucio on our team? Yeah, we do. So that's why I was going smack, especially for some reason. Alright, there's no one there. Also, uh, we have a... Alright. Alright. We have something on... We have Sniper on top there. So... I feel like this game would be a lot more, um... The competitive scene would be a lot more easier with friends along and a microphone. Because that way, you'll be... Oh. Yeah, I can see... Oh, there's a Sniper on the rooftops, guys. So, uh... Ooh, okay. Although... Relatively not a good sniper, I don't think! Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, okay. I'm being, uh, tackled by something. Uh, am I healing? I'm not sure if I'm healing. Oh, right. Right, scraps! Okay. Good thing I was behind him. Deal with that enemy. Uh, okay. Whoop. Fucking! Ooh, okay. Dreeper trying to sneak in behind me. I gotta be careful about the, all the other enemies as well, just in case. Uh, we got three minutes. They're not making any progress so far, though. That's really good, but I died. Hopefully my turret doesn't get the same fate. Nope, my turret's almost about to get the same fate. It's being damaged right now, so I gotta hurry up. Although I'm at the very beginning of the fucking thing. So, I think it's a lot better if I, uh... Okay, there we go. I'm not sure if that's any better, but... I feel like... No, 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 that's not any better. What am I thinking? <laughs> I should've saved the turret there. Just in case. Uh... You can also tell some visual cues that- ooh. Hold on, let me focus. You can also tell some visual cues that, uh, or audio cues. Oh my god, hello! Oh, uh, ladies must there. Well, there goes my turret. Uh, okay, my, my ultimate is ready, although, that could happen. <laughs> They, these guys are playing really offensively, so I should probably uh, focus more on ahead of time. Although we had, I also did have my uh, partners to help me as well. Then again, I could have used my triangle ability, like, to deal with those and to the, deal with the enemies instead. So Sniper. the payload is almost reaching the checkpoint. If it reaches the checkpoint, then why am I telling you guys these tips? You guys already know how to play Overwatch. Uh, I keep forgetting I have armor as well, so I should really use that more often. Okay. Alright, the payload's going backwards. That's good. I eliminate someone's mine? Uh, okay. I guess, but uh, I don't know how exactly that happened, but alright, I'll take it. I oh, why did I think that was a. Ooh. Thanks, uh, uh, Reinhardt. Oh, your shield really helped me there. Here, have an armor. In fact, everyone have- everyone get their armor! Another nerf, okay, okay, oh my god, uh... Uh, okay, so, the, yeah, the car was in the way. That's why I couldn't go through. That's a really smart tactic, too, how, going into airborne so that... You can deal with the enemies afterwards. It seems like that... Okay, my turret's dead. It feels like, uh... The enemy, um, D.Va... Is really good at uh, dealing with uh, what you might call it, using that suicide move in order to destroy everyone else. And I think like immediately you could just send it back upward as well. Oh shit! Fuck you! All right. Come on. All right. Alright, payload's almost done, but I feel like it's gonna go overtime soon. Oh, hello. Alright, thanks for the, uh, let's break it down move. Come on, almost done! Overtime almost done. Yeah, there we go, we did it. Whew. Good job, team, good job. That was some nice good play. Uh, should I all thank- Oh, fuck, I can't thank you guys anymore, damn it. Oh well, that's fine. Of course it would be D.Va, who else would it be? Would that play? Holy shit, of course it, she'd be able to, um, 
succeed. Um, and I also I forgot about the timer, so I should have. Fuck. Oh well, that's fine. We'll pretend that that's one match or something. Anyway, so that was the first competitive match that I've done. And here, I'll vote for a diva. That was a really epic uh, battle. But yeah, um, tune in next time, and we'll be right back with the next episode of Overwatch. Stay tuned.